What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up, guys? All right, here. What's up, guys? Welcome to another live stream, another episode, whatever you want to call this. Uh, we're gonna hang out today. Uh, another hangout stream. Um, we got a, a 3XL T-shirt, and this customer has requested um, that we, he or she, wants. Um, that Post Malone shirt, the R.I.P. Mac Miller shirt with the roses. And they've been saying that they've been wanting it for a while, so that's what we're trying to get done today. And that's actually the wrong. There you go. So we got this big old shirt here. I'm gonna try to get this going, and it has a lot of roses. It says R.I.P. Mac Miller right across the front. Um, and I'm gonna try to get it as close as to the original as I can. And so I think we're just gonna take it section by section. And normally when I do a shirt, I'm just trying to get it done. I'm, I'm trying to be quick. But in this one, we're gonna take a little bit of time and we're gonna try to get it um, like I said, as close to the original as we can. I don't know who the original artist was. I tried looking it up and tried to find information for it. And I couldn't find anything about it. So, yeah, that's where we're at. But, uh, what's up, JP Tez? How's it going? What's up, Pedro Herrera? What's up, Eric Todd? How's it going? So, what's up in the chat, everybody? And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna start just working it around. And um, here in this main section here, at the very bottom of the shirt, let me pull up some pictures here. Uh, okay, so at the very bottom of the shirt here, he has a, a big red rose right here with uh, some black and it looks like fluorescent green leaves here and these look like the old school like um who used to draw those um like the sailor jerry i guess type of roses so first let me get a pencil out i know i had a big thick pencil here the other day there it is right there sure this is sharpened then I'm gonna just lay some pencil lines real quick just to make sure we get this rose to look like the one on the shirt so typically I would just paint a rose on there but uh, yeah we're trying to match it so and, yeah okay says Denver Broncos for the win tonight. Oh, snap, son. Jess was really mad that the Raiders lost. All right, so trying to get the sizing about right. And we got like maybe two inches here. So this is probably where we want the lettering to start right here. And maybe go right there. And I'm just going to lightly mark it. I'm not doing really not deep marks or nothing. Because it has R.I.P. Pretty big. And then we got Mac Miller going across here. But then he has two roses. One up on the top left and the top right here. Or the other way around, whatever. 
You know what I mean. And then, uh, <laughs> I hate, I hate that I have to, like, I'm recreating somebody else's st something, you know? I mean, I, I don't hate it, but it's, it's a challenge because you do want to, you know, you want to paint what you see and not what you want to do. And uh, definitely this is not how I would have done the lettering uh, to start off with. And I'm probably going to add a little more flair than the one on here has because I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. You see this RIP here? It's pretty inconsistent. This R over here, you see how thick this is? But then you see how thin the P is here? You see these points don't really come to a point. I mean, they, it does on the eye, like how the eye looks really good, but it's lowercase. Also, why, you know, it's R I P. I, and then this extra loop on the P here, that, that's something I don't, like, I don't normally do an extra loop on the bottom of the P, as well as it has, like, an extra loop on, the, on this back side. But again, we're just going to try to make it look like the shirt one without, I'm not going to try to vary it too much, but I am going to try to, you know, give it my own little flair, I guess, to just to make it look proper, you know. But ultimately, this customer does want, like, they want this shirt. If they could have that shirt, that's the one they'd be wearing. So, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to just bite your tongue and just paint it, boy. Bite your tongue and paint it. I don't know. There may be there may be meaning behind the way these are made or something. I don't know. I would just assume that this is just how you know the artist drew it on there. Um, to each his own. <laughs> Alright, so you got the R.I.P. on there. I'm going to get this Mac Miller on here real quick. It's also pretty big. And that, that's, I mean, this one's pretty simple, I guess. They don't, really, they don't really got too much of a style on their script. Some people's script is super stylized, so it's, it's a little bit harder to recreate. This one's pretty simple. that big rose down here all right so let me just let me just move this a little bit just so we make it easier to paint I'm gonna just move this up since we already have a drawn on there I'll just leave that exposed so we can work on that first I'll just double make sure yeah we got space for the roses up here looks pretty good okay clips on here what's up baby D's how's it going what's up Irwin it's a one night in the Netherlands uh, waiting for some awesome airbrush skills it says do your thing make it even better than that one I, 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 uh, uh. that's that's completely what I want to do right I just want to go off the wall and just be like yeah 
that one looks all right, but look what I can do. But it's, that's, it's not about that. Right? It's about the, the customer who wants that shirt. They don't want to see what I could do. That's, not, that's beyond the point. Right? The point is that this is the one that Post Malone wore, so she wants it to look like that one. Now, I think the one that he's wearing is like a, uh, a tall tee because it looks like extra long. Um, I wasn't able to find an, a 3XL tall tee. It's pretty big, but it's not a, a tall tee. But either way, let's get this rose in here. I also could not find pictures of the back of this shirt to save the life of me. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the back of the shirt or something. Yeah, this is definitely not the way I, I, I draw. So this is definitely different for me. Who was the painter that said, it could take you an entire lifetime to learn how to draw like a child? <laughs> that is what I'm doing. Think not of how you would do it. Think about how that other individual would do it. Anyway, that's pretty good. Matches up pretty good. Now we just gotta get the correct colors in there. So we have RIP, and then it looks like it has I mean, that looks like flamingo pink to me. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> do your thing, yeah. Post Malone should have had you do a shirt. Uh, like, yeah, I wish. I'm probably in the wrong state for that. Uh, if I did a shirt, someone would make it better without trying. That's funny. <laughs> he had someone do a Sailor Moon airbrush shirt. That's cool. That's cool. What's up, Michael McClung? All right, so let me bring up this picture here. So yeah, I mean, that looks like flamingo pink to me. In all the pictures, it doesn't look like fluorescent pink. See, in, in this picture, it's like yellow light, and it definitely looks like flamingo pink. And I feel like in this shot, there's like those neat, you can see that those, those purple lights are hitting on them. Right, but it's not shining back on the pink. If it was fluorescent pink, I feel like that pink would be popping, popping, boy. So we're gonna do black first. We're gonna do the lettering and then outline this rose, do a little bit of shading here on this rose. And then we could do the colors. And the first, first part of this shirt will be pretty much ready, I guess. All right, so I got this layout out. I'm gonna try to follow it as best I can. <laughs> um, says, 
Are we allowed to recreate another person's airbrush shirts like that? Not copyright. No, I don't. <laughs> I this is a shirt. I don't know, and it's my own. See, look. there's this whole thing about when you paint something, it's not copyright. It's your own reproduction using that person's reference, but it is your own unique piece of work. So there's this whole, like, I don't want to call it a gray zone because it's not really a gray zone. That makes it sound like it's up in the air. It's this whole thing where you could use certain things in your artwork as long as you make it into your own artwork. And also, I cannot go and say, um, I guess, and I, I would have to know which artist made this or whatever. I cannot go and claim, oh yeah, this is like his work as mine, right? So it's easier to explain with like, if this was Mickey Mouse, right? If I was painting Mickey Mouse, right? Um, I can't go and say, yeah, this is an official licensed Mickey Mouse shirt. That's copyright. You can't do that. You could use certain shapes and certain things, but again, as long as you make it your own work, um, you're pretty much, you're not, I'm not going to say you're open to do whatever you want, because obviously if Disney feels you're, you're going over the bounds, you're going to get smacked by Disney. You know, but within reason, if you're creating pieces of artwork, um, you could go look up the the laws on that in your area. I know it varies country to country or whatever, but <clears throat> I know on YouTube, a lot of the YouTubers always talk about fair use and stuff like that, where they use somebody else's video in their video. This, what I'm talking about is not that. Um, it's not fair use. Um, I'm talking about it's it's actually its own new piece of work. I don't know. It might be fair use. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Don't listen to me. This is not legal advice. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Also, the, usually the time they take uh, notice is if you start making a lot of them. <laughs> so. So yeah. More than likely though, the, the rule of thumb is if you think you shouldn't be doing it, more than likely you probably shouldn't be doing it.
say. <laughs> Some airbrushers use other designs they bring in to do their own twist on it, or maybe they will try to get it as close as they can. Yeah. It's kind of what we're doing right now. We're just trying to get it as close as we can. I, get, I gotta give it up to the whoever painted this original shirt, because at least they did do like all freehand. They didn't like, uh, you know, skimp them out on, you know, do some bunch of stenciled roses or something. At least they were like, yo, we get you some freehand shit on there. You know, show off a little bit.
says, uh, have you tried using pilot ball, friction, erasable pens? No, I don't even know what, the, what that is. I hear nobody ever giving you a quieter compressor. Nope, no quieter compressor, yes, son. Also, it's, it, I don't expect anybody to give me shit. <laughs> It's not a gift. It's not a gift if I have to sit here and then represent your company and have you there and, and provide you with a nice advertising space and, you know, all that good jazz. Because no doubt, as soon as I get one, I'm going to let you guys know. I know some of you probably going to want one. I posted one time, one time about the Makita, my green Makita, like a quiet series or whatever it is. And I've seen like six people in like within a week. My new airbrush compressor arrived. It's a Makita, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, wow. I don't know if it's just whatever it is. I just, I want to be sure it's something I can represent. I am not. Mailed, <laughs> emailed any company or anything like that. So I'm, it's not like I'm trying that hard to get one. I'm really not trying at all. I mentioned it on stream. That's about as much as I've tried. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather save up and just buy one. Uh, it's a more surefire way of getting it. <clears throat> Pretty sure I've told you guys lots of times. I'm a nobody in this business, son. I'm a nobody in this business. Nobody knows me. They don't care about me. They don't care about us. They don't care about those Skull Squad, son. They don't care about how many views I get every month. None of that matters. I'm a nobody, son. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I can honestly say, if you got a new compressor, I would go cop the same one. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if I could recommend the Craftsman, I would show it to you guys all the time. I love that Craftsman compressor, but it is loud as shit. But I never have to worry about anything. It runs, it turns on, it comes on. It's been running since the day I got it. It has no problems, but it's also a $700 compressor that's like more made for other stuff, right? It's not super legit, just airbrushing. Um, so am I gonna go tell you to go get one of those? Like it doesn't seem quite right, right? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think we all ought to chip in and get you. Why? No. No, son. No. That's not. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm saying. I have. Here. Use this bad boy. <laughs> I mean, I literally can. If I want to plug it in right now, I can use it. I use that one. That's like for small events. My Makita is right around the corner. Right now, it's a lot better to run the big compressor and have all the air pressure for these shirts. 
and it'll come on only a few times as opposed to having the small compressor here turn on a bunch of times. So that's the only reason I use it. And it honestly, on the microphone, it sounds about the same. That one over there and this Makita one, if I put it right here, you can't really tell the difference on the microphone. When you're in here, you can tell the difference for sure. <laughs> yeah, JP Taz, like, it's only my first shirt, bro, so, you know, I'm sorry if it surprises you that I have these things already. <laughs> I'm literally staring at the quiet compressor and I'm just like, should I plug it in? Should I not plug it in? It's okay. That big compressor will only turn on a few times. You'll get used to it. We all get used to it. If you become an airbrush artist, you're gonna get used to it. You'll hear lots of compressors. Big ones, little ones, quiet ones, extremely loud ones, ones that are kinda loud but not that loud. Some that just make more of a ticking noise. You'll be okay. Alright, for a new subject, good work isn't cheap, cheap work isn't good. I mean, I guess? I guess? Is that entirely true? Is it? Big bold statements. See, here's here's a conundrum with that statement: is that the value of money here is worth more than the value of money somewhere else, right? So here you might pay, you know, like this shirt here. You might pay 200 bucks to have this shirt done. Right, considering it has roses all over and all this stuff, and you know, it's pretty specific. But, but, the big, big but is that, say, maybe I'm just gonna use this as an example. You go down to Mexico, find yourself an air, airbrush artist, Mexico, maybe you can have the same shirt made for maybe about $20. <laughs> maybe you could go to Thailand maybe some artist in Thailand he'll hook it up for five bucks
All of them gonna look the same. So, technically you're right. Cheap work isn't good, and good work usually is not cheap. Within an area, like if you're talking within the states, yes. If you're talking about within Mexico, more than likely. You know, if you're gonna get something for a few pesos, it's not gonna be as nice as something for a few thousand pesos, right? But there is that conundrum that if you go somewhere else, somebody could do it for cheaper just because of the, you know, value of money. All right, let me. The conundrum, son. Um, <laughs> you always make me laugh. I want a Mike's original. Nice, nice, nice. There is a lot of them here on the wall. If you see any of those you like, and or if you want to just commission me to have one specifically made for you, you can do that as well. So something to think about there with that, that statement. Because I've thought about that before too, and I'd always it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. It's like, even though I agree with what you're saying, I totally agree. There is a problem with that statement. <laughs> it is not right. It is not 100% correct. That's just me being real, like it's just... And even within the states, here's another dilemma. Right, well here we got this first section of the shirt done. It looks pretty close to the original. We're gonna move on. Um, so, even within the states, there's a, a dilemma here. It does not cost the same amount of money to live everywhere you go. Not everybody makes the same amount of money everywhere you go. <sighs> Hence, you'll hear a lot of times an artist post something or you'll hear about it usually from a customer. Oh yeah, this artist over here charged me $3,000 in, in LA you know, to get it done. That's why it's the best. <laughs> it's like, bro, you went all the way to LA. That guy's just trying to make his rent like the rest of <laughs> the rest of everybody out in California, right? Um, and, you know, if you go out, in, you know, in Ohio and some guy does it, same job, for a third of the price, does that make it any less good? Like, I, I don't get it. You go to any tourist area, Las Vegas, you know, anywhere near the beach, any beach, you might be able to make a little more money than you would anywhere else, but you're also gonna pay a lot more to be there. So take that into consideration. I forgot what I was looking at here, uh, sure. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Okay. So we have like some pretty basic flower here. And so it's this weird thing just for me alone, in the time that I've spent painting, I've gotten all kinds of weird, weird statements. Oh, you should charge a lot more. Guys out in Vegas are charging thousands of dollars for this. And then it's like, all right. So then I'll talk to somebody in Vegas 
Yo, man, how much are you getting for these pieces? Oh, man, you know, 500 bucks, something like that. Not, not too much. <laughs> you know, most of the artists I know, they're pretty humble. They don't, they're not like, they're not trying to break the bank with every job. Um, most of the ones I know, they don't charge that much. I mean, I don't know them all, but you know, most of them are pretty reasonably priced is what I would say. See now look, I'm looking at this picture and on this picture, that definitely looks like hot pink on this picture. But it looks like this picture is like under a filter or something. On every other picture, that pink is like, like even this, especially this picture, it's like flamingo pink, it's like that. Like the, it looks, that's pretty damn close. Yeah, it's like Alaska milk is $25 here in the States, it might be 10. Yeah, exactly. I have a friend that lives on Hawaii. She says gallon of milk's like over seven dollars or something. And I'm just like, man, I'm enjoying my two dollars and eighty nine cents milk. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just saying, a lot of people forget that. And I've seen a lot of artists try to use what somebody charged in one place to justify what they're charging somewhere else. Now, I'm pretty reasonable. I'm I'm reasonable as hell with my prices. I try to keep it. I try to keep it from a customer's perspective. Like you know, what would I spend on that kind of thing? And I know I probably wouldn't spend a whole lot on something. You know, on, on a lot of the things that I paint. Right? Most people just want something cool. Now, there are certain jobs where the customer is expecting it to last. Or like, you know, hot rods and stuff like that where it's a little more time consuming. You're going to measure a lot more. You're going to do a lot more, a little more math and stuff like that. So those charge, you charge a little bit more just because you are going to take a little more time but honestly for the most part I try to stay affordable I don't know the only way I could keep busy we know you're humble but some other artists break your bank yeah I can't tell nobody what to charge. I just know sometimes it's ridiculous. The, th the numbers I hear is just ridiculous. Ridiculified. Now I will say this, some artist work is supreme. It's nice and it probably should get top dollar, right? But that doesn't mean everybody. <laughs> that doesn't mean everybody. Just because one guy gets that doesn't mean that all of us get that. And I, I think that's the, whole, the way I've seen it. I always I try to be realistic. But I've said it before, if you could get somebody to pay it, more power to you, I can't even, I can't even hate on you, little gangster. Can't even hate me.
What? There was a guy who needed a car and I was selling mine because it's starting to... I was selling mine because it's starting to nickel and dime me. So I sold it to him for $200. I could have went into an auto show. <laughs> what? <laughs> So the car was starting to go bad, is that what you're saying? What's up, Cody Adams? How's it going? Start needing a little. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. See here. See what we got so far. So that's what we got so far. It's 
Just uh, a lot more roses to go. That's actually looking pretty good, just like that. <laughs> that looks nice. Simple but nice. That lettering, it looks a little bit better than the original. I had to follow the original's loops and stuff. That's not how I do my R's and my P's, but I dig it. I dig it. It came out okay. It was a 77 El Camino. What? $200. Oh, my gosh. All right. So let me keep looking here at this picture. So there's also a rose like right over the shoulder and one on each sleeve. So how do I want to do that? How do I want to do that? Then I think we're just going to do one big rose on the back, and maybe some little roses at the bottom. I can't, Like I said, I can't find a picture of the back of the shirt for the life of me. And uh, I don't want to do the same thing on the back. So I think we're going to do this rose that's down here. We'll just do it kind of more centered. And then we'll do a couple of these little roses kind of off to the bottom. Just to have a more centralized rose design. But I do believe we want the front to look as much as possible like this one. And in the pictures I can find, I can see that there are like, it looks like pink roses like here on the side. So maybe we'll do those and then do like one in the center. Something like that. Anyway, let me um, let's see here. Now at this point we have to be careful with this shirt. So we ain't trying to get it all super dirty, right? So now I believe I believe this will fit over this. here on the sleeve, one kind of over on this shoulder, then we can do the other side. One last good look at the picture real quick. Yeah, I think it'll be okay if we just, if we just do one on the sleeves, because I think on his... Yeah, because his is like a tall tee, so he has like extra long sleeves. So it looks like, oh, does he? Or maybe he just has one on the front. Yeah, it doesn't look like I see any on the back. So he has one like more towards the front here, and then one leap creeping over the shoulder here. So that's what we'll do. nice thank you thank you looking good thank you good morning mike and everyone from western australia what's up graham mcdonald how's it going western australia oi mates good morning brother <laughs> so we'll do that one there
good. This one's pink and this one's red. Cool. We got this. And this is one of those rare times where I'm just like, ah, oh, this, this music, ah, oh, the music. I wish, I just wish I could just play regular music. It would be nice to listen to some Post Malone while I'm painting this Post Malone inspired t-shirt. But no! We got your boy listening to the freaking freaking cookie crisp beats over here. Don't even have no words and they're putting me to sleep. I've heard them all. I need more. I need more variety of beats. I need beats to get me hyped, son. I need beats to get me entertained. I'm tired of these weak ass beats. Can't see your coasters on the table. Can you even see my table? The t actually, the coasters are inside. I have one on my computer desk, one on my office desk, and the big key ring keeps our, our keys for our back gate on it. Makes it great so we don't lose them. <laughs> it's like, this big key ring, I know exactly what this is going for. Like, yep, that's where it went. <laughs> Thank you so much for those, man. All right, I said pink and red. Okay. I'm tired of all these weak ass beats on this low pass live stream bringing the, the vibe down. And at this point, my guy, I'd be happy listening to the freaking radio as long as it wouldn't get me flagged. I wouldn't even care if I couldn't select a song as long as I could just put some good music. Just any music, son. Let me listen to some oldies. I don't care. YouTube should have been on that shit a long time ago. Long time ago, they should have already figured out how to make us have music on these live streams, man. Man. Long time ago, they should have been cut a deal with the record companies. <laughs> long time. <laughs> What's up, Easy Airbrush? How's it going, man? And here's the other fucked up thing. I see people on YouTube, they stream all kinds of stuff. They be watching movies, all kinds of shit. As soon as I play two second clip, a two second clip of any song on any of my videos, boom, it gets flagged. It's 
And I'm like, what is this? What is this, son? Why do I get the band hammer? First thing, like I already know you don't promote my videos. You leave my videos in the way back. And then as soon as I try to do anything good, I get pushed farther into the back. Tired of this shit. How they get away drinking alcohol on live stream. Yeah. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go sit back here in the back. It's the only place I can sit. So y'all motherfuckers don't open no seats around here. So I'm gonna go sit back here where I was anyway. It's not like I have a choice. <laughs> I can complain about this shit all the time, but <sighs> it's really not not that bad. It's not that bad. I do wish we could play music though. Kinda went off on a tangent there, but the music part, man, that is annoying. Like they should have already done Long time ago, how is it the radio stations can do it, but YouTube can't figure out, let us play music in our videos, pay these damn record companies the money? I don't get it, my guy. I don't get it. I think YouTube needs to start charging more for them ads, boy. Stop fucking around with these little play, little play ads, letting people... Advertise their own YouTube videos on here for free because they'd be doing it so cheap. Start running some real advertisements, son. Get that freaking, um, get that McDonald's money, get that Burger King money up in there, son. Get them big ads up in there. Honestly, the sound of the air right now sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Money talks, bro. Money talks, yeah. I watch a lot of wood turners, and they don't talk, but they play music. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, do they play, like, like radio music, or, like, is it just, like, instrumental beats? Is it some just some weird off band that you've never heard of before? Cause I just wanna, I just like I said, right now, like it'd be that time where if I could just play some Post Malone, it'd be like, oh, check it out, Post Malone this, blah, you know, or some Mac Miller, you know, so we could be like R.I.P. Mac Miller. But we can't do that, son. We can't do that. They don't let us. What you got there, babe? Here, babe. Says you go faster with the bottom feet gun than you do with the top feet. Yeah, this is just regular shirt stuff. Look at what she brought. <laughs> she said, she said, oh, they drink on camera, huh? 
You didn't even bring nothing to chase it with. What is this? Vodka? Yeah. Oh. Pineapples, huh? Oh, it smells sweet. I wish I had something. Don't be worse. Here. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. You gotta do it in camera. Yeah. You gotta get over here. I can't. I don't. To the Skull I Squad? Am. Sure. You guys gonna take a shot with us? If you guys type one in the chat and we'll wait a second for you guys to get a shot ready. Here. This is a 21 and over stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going on a freaking rampage over here about some music. Yeah. <laughs> the beats, they were just putting me to sleep. It says, got one ready. All right. How high is the pressure on that? I'm running about 40 PSI. Just take it. Okay. To the skull squad then. <laughs> Three, two, one, down. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo, boy. Ah. That's not bad. Sure. It's such a wuss. Why are you trying to give me shots all of a sudden? Because I'm watching you stream and you're all on a rampage. On a rampage, huh? Sure. This is just to the rescue. Yeah, that's funny. Vodka for breakfast. Oh, yeah, son. Anyway, I forgot what we were talking about. these roses. This one is blue and that one is red. You can't do on YouTube. What's up, Stephen Ward? How's it going? Music. You want some music, huh? Are you tired of the silence? Bottom feed, top feed, I guess you love your t-shirts and hat work. Yeah. So if, if you don't know, if, if you're not aware, I originated being an airbrush. Not like, air, I originated being an airbrush artist. 
I just came out of the womb. Being in, no, no, no. I originate like my whole roots as an airbrusher are being a t-shirt artist. So if you're not aware, and then from there I branched out, <clears throat> but I definitely started doing shirts. That was that was my main passion at first, and still to this day I do shirts. Um, man, I, I keep saying I want to. I have some videos planned, right, around doing the market again. And I want to show you guys, you know, how I do it and showing the whole process of that. Um, but every time I feel like I'm about to have a chance, I get all kinds of work. So, like, right now, right, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to do these live streams, these how-to airbrush live streams. And then, blam, I got to do, I got, like, a call to paint a freaking kid's room with a whole Mario theme. And it's like quite a chunk of money, so I can't just like ignore it, right? Like I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta definitely do, I gotta do, I gotta do that, son. I gotta do that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm definitely. <coughs> I'm definitely stretching myself, I guess, a little bit. Uh, but I know I, right now I got to try to take in as much as I can because the winter will come and the winter gets slow. The events kind of die down, uh, at least around here because, you know, it snows and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Now, like I said, I couldn't find a picture of the back of this shirt. So I just want to put a rose here in the center. We're going to do a pretty big rose here. Some leaves. Then we're going to move it down and we're going to do a pink rose on each side here and that I think that'll wrap up this shirt and then we can take a good look at it at the end see what it looks like but I think we got it we got it pretty good it's too early for vodka and too late for breakfast unless you're an alcoholic believe me I know yeah I we don't I don't hardly ever drink. Like, that's my first shot in, like, probably six months or something. I did have a chalada, like a beer. What was it a few days ago, a couple days ago now? So, like, I always tell people I don't drink so that they don't expect me to drink. Because I, I really don't. I don't, like, I generally don't enjoy it, right? It's not something I... I'm really fond of, like I'm not. I don't like feeling drunk, but I know it, sometimes it, it makes stuff fun. So sometimes I do drink, but it just depends on the person or what's going on around me. Um, it's not something I crave. Like I know some people, like they wake up and it's like ah alcohol or like beer. You know, like I've had friends that like wake up and they just like crave beer or something. I'm not sure like what the mentality behind that is, but I've never had that, luckily. Um, so yeah, so I don't I don't really drink, and my wife's probably more of a drinker than I am. See, this is interesting. See, this is right here. Do you recommend washing the shirts to get all that loose nap off before painting? So I, I think I've gotten into arguments with people over this before. <laughs> people have literally, like, got into an argument over me. Like, most, when I get a brand new shirt, like this shirt right here, um, and this is like a, what is this? What brand is this? An Al style um, shirt. It's like a really heavy cotton shirt. Uh, but even when I get the cheap shirts, like, they're really smooth and really fine. I never, like, get, like, I don't know what, what you guys to refer to as nap. Um, but I've never actually seen anything like that on, on shirts that I paint. Um, and the only time I've actually ever seen something like that is, like, on used t-shirts. Where it kind of has that texture from the, the cotton kind of getting, like, messed up or ruffled up or whatever. Um, and in those cases, 
Um, more than likely what I will do is replace the shirt for the customer and just provide them with a nice new white shirt and put their design on it and give them back their old shirt and just be like, oh yeah, you know, I just thought it would look better. Don't worry about the shirt. Not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah. To TB, you can just iron to the nap down. Yeah, I mean, you could always just iron it down, pressing it. Spray some white and press it down. Like, if it's, if it's you know, the only shirt you have or something, yeah, for sure. Pressing it, like, spraying some white on it and then press it down. That'll hold down any, like, loose fibers, I guess. I don't know if that's what you guys are talking about. Like maybe sometimes you get shirts with like loose fibers or something. I don't hardly ever see that. So I don't really ever, I don't think it's that big of an issue. But I know a lot of people always talk about nap. I don't know about you, but when I think about nap, I think about like, like actual like clumps of stuff, like nap, like, like clutter. <laughs> Oh my god, he has like a ton of those. Oh no. Okay.
There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, boy. Get them headbangs in, boy. <laughs> All right. So last but not least, we're just gonna put some purple roses on each side. bottom side here of each side so like right here Um, spray some t-shirt booster I've never used that um, on the bottom feet airbrush is the trigger up high on the gun um, so on my black so I'm using the Badger 155 Anthems but on my black I have the high roller trigger so it's super up high makes it so you have like a better range of motion when you're pulling it back you could be more precise.
Okay. Got that one. I have tried to paint with bottle feeds at 40, 40 PSI. This seems hardy. What do you mean it seems harder? I just realized I'm blocking the camera. How come you guys don't send me? I'm blocking the camera. What's up, RC Boneyard? How you doing? The paint acts different. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by that. The paint acts different. Hmm. Hmm. Like what do you normally paint at, Todd? I mean, I have seen people paint at really high pressures and stuff. You end up creating more problems than you're solving. Um, and from, from what I've experienced, this, the sweet spot somewhere between 40 and 50 psi. When you start going higher than that, then you start working your compressor too hard. Um, you're also pushing way too much paint, way too far into the shirt. So you'll have a lot of, um, like you see, like on this board, like yeah, it marked off the lines, but it's not wet. Right, even though we sprayed all that pink and stuff on there, um, you know it dries pretty quick onto the shirt. Um, if you start using too high of a pressure, that paint just gets blown through into the back of the shirt um, or beyond the shirt, and uh, then it, you create a whole list of problems. Um, the most important part is always make sure your paint's running at a good consistency, like it's not clogged, it's not dirty, it doesn't have stuff in it, whatever it is. Um, you always kind of want to make sure it's nice and and the right consistency and then uh, I would say like 40 I always have it like 45 when you start spraying it drops down a little bit like 40 psi or something and I feel like that's probably pretty good anything higher than that um, like I said you start creating more problems than you than you solve when you start creating a lot of overspray stuff like that 
So let me get some pins up here. Maybe we can pin it up a little better. Some pin there. Sometimes it can feel like you're laying lines easier for sure at higher PSIs. I know I've worked with like uh, when I worked with Sleek. When I first got there, he w he ran his pressure so high, um, but then after I showed him a few tips and tricks, and we kind of just went over his paint bottles a little bit, and you know we did a, f a day running it at 45. Um, he was like, "Oh yeah, this is definitely way better. You know, don't have to worry about overspray as much, and you know the the paint seems to press onto the shirt a lot better." I heard that, which was funny to me also that the, he didn't have to worry about the when he pulled off the shirt that the shirt wouldn't be wet um or so like it wouldn't leave like smear marks on the back of the shirt um so there you go so again this is this is again just recreating that shirt this is not my original idea or anything like that this is just again the customer wanted that shirt um, you can look it up. It, just type it in, Post Malone Mac Miller airbrush shirt, and then you'll see him wearing it. He, like, took a bunch of photos, and, you know, he wore it for, like, a concert or something. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, hopefully you guys like today's video. Hopefully you guys find it a little bit useful. Um, so that's the front. Let's see if we can get the back shown off real quick. As always, guys, if you want, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, if you thought this video was helpful and you want to see more videos like it, consider joining the Skull Squad down below. Like you'll see the members in the chat have their green name with that skull next to their name. That's because they are members of the Skull Squad. And they do make these videos possible for all you to enjoy for free. Um, so make sure if you do like these videos, you go ahead and you consider joining that. Also, uh, go ahead and check out uh, mikesbrush.com we have lots of stencils that you can enjoy to make t-shirts just like this um, we also have some airbrush accessories and we have our own little t-shirts that you guys can enjoy we have the new airbrush daily routine shirt um, and then we have the skull squad shirt i'm working on a few more designs so we can get those all kind of set up and ready uh, so if you ever want a skull swatch shirt um, you'll be able to get one and and a few other designs um, so yeah and that's the back, not as flashy as the front, but I mean, all, all anybody sees really on something like this is the front. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'll get out of here. I'm gonna let you guys get back to your day. Um, and yeah. Oh yeah, make sure you go and you check out the website, consider buying anything off that website. Any order off there um, helps the channel bring you more videos like this. So if you definitely, if you enjoy this, and you want to support us in the best way possible, uh, go ahead and order yourself something off of there. And, um, yeah. That way you can get yourself something. You're supporting the channel at the same time. It's a win-win. A win-win-win-win-win. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys all again for watching. Thank you guys for all your support. You guys have been amazing. All the orders on the site and stuff. Um, yeah. Thank you guys again for all being part of the Skull Squad. Thank you guys all for watching. And we're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, keep an eye out on the social media again for that big Mario room that I'm working on. I'll be posting videos and pictures of that uh, here in the coming days. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later, everybody. <laughs>